Hey, what's up guys? Bodie Davidson back with another video for you. So let's get into today's video. We're going to be talking about what I'm going to be diving into uh, to start off this year. So what I'm really interested in, and it's something that you would have seen if you're into drop shipping or any sort of Shopify or e-commerce is print on demand. So print on demand is huge. And the reason that I'm very interested in it is because print on demand with customized, um, like your own custom logos. So when people like, like one of the things I'm talking about is, um, this is something I've been seeing pop up a lot and this is just one of the websites that's doing it. So very interesting. And what it is, is the customer can give you their picture and then, um, you're getting the design printed onto socks. So this one's all about, it's just called sock print. And um, it's very interesting. These things get huge engagement on Facebook. I'm sure you've probably seen them. Um, yeah, anyone to do with animals, things like that, you know, like kids, uh, quirky sayings, things like that. So they're absolutely huge on Facebook. You see them everywhere and people engage and tag all their friends. And yeah, there must be, there must be a lot of people making a lot of money out of this stuff. So I'm very interested in it. So some custom design printing and also just print on demand, different things. Um, it's not something I've ever tried the print on demand side of Shopify. I've obviously had Shopify stores and done a lot of drop shipping, but I've never actually dived into the print on demand side. So it'll be a, an interesting sort of case study and I'll show you guys what I'm doing and uh, what's working, what's not, and also teach you how to do it obviously because that's what this channel is all about. So before you go diving into anything is research. So that's what I've been doing. Like I've been uh, researching what the best apps, etc., are, looking at different uh, websites, looking at Facebook ads, um, taking a lot of notes and just realizing what works, what doesn't, what my ideas are for what can work for me. Um, so you look at all this stuff, you can put all sorts of designs on socks, but this is just socks, which is cool, but you can do um, shirts, mugs, you know, uh, I've talked about canvas prints, canvas prints are huge. You can do uh, print on demand for canvas prints. Um, that's absolutely massive. People love that as well. So yeah, it's just something I'm looking into guys. Um, I don't know if any of you are currently doing it. I'd love to chat if you are because I'm just learning about it for now and uh, very interested in knowing what the best uh, app is to use because there's quite a few. So that's what I'm actually got pulled up here. So um, there's quite a few of the different apps here. Obviously um, Printful, Printify, um, T Launch has been around for ages. Custom Cat, I've heard a lot about as well. What else is here? Uh, Guten or Guten, however you say that. Um, what's some of the other ones that I've heard of? Pixels, I've heard of. Pillow Profits, I've seen those pop up because Pillow Profits actually do shoes that you can custom print on. So that's really interesting. And um, pretty much just like any app, what are you looking for here? You're looking for good reviews. So Printful, I'm pretty sure I've heard that Printful is a bit expensive, but they are, you know, you, you pay for or you get what you pay for sort of thing with those guys. So you're going to have to mark your products up a bit because they charge a little bit more, but they also got a high quality product. So you probably, probably better off doing that. So that's a lot of good reviews right there. Um, I'll show you guys a little trick in a minute about those reviews as well. The OGs of the channel would remember. Um, so yeah, what's the beauty of print on demand? Obviously you do your ads. You don't even have the product at all. This is a beauty of drop shipping in general. You have your, uh, you know, you have your ads, get your logo, logo custom um, put on here. They send it through. You drop ship the product just like everything else. It gets sent off to the to like Printify or whoever your app store um, person is. So if you go with Printful, whatever, T Launch, um, then they take care of the rest. So you take the money. You pay them a percentage to fulfill the order, you keep the profit, and it gets sent directly to the customer. It's just like everything else with drop shipping, except, um, yeah, it's well, it's very similar. You're just doing something completely different, though, in the fact that you're doing uh, print on demand instead of just drop shipping a product. So, 
Um, what have they done? Over 14 million products. View example store. So yeah, we can look at that in a second. But I'll just touch on this because some of you guys haven't, you know, there's a lot of new people to this channel. So some of you don't know all my little tricks, but one of the things you can look at when you've got so many good ratings on these um, Shopify apps is a lot of people will be talking about it um, with like the the time the time that I would use this, Jesus, I'm getting tongue tied. The time that I would use this is usually on more expensive apps because if someone can afford to pay $500 a month for an app and they're leaving reviews, then you can go and view. So your identity clothing, shop lake house you can look these up on google and you can see what their shop is and what they're selling so if they're doing if they're paying for an app on a shopify store like everything costs money so apps cost money per month if they can afford to pay 500 dollars a month for an app and they're leaving reviews on that and then you can go and check out their website and see what they're selling guess what you're getting a real quick insight into what's working um, in that niche. So that's my little side note on what I do that for. But um, yeah, one of the other ones here was Printify. Also got some good reviews. Um, yeah, it, it's, it pretty much just tells you what it does there. Um, let's have a look at this one's example store. So they got a lot of different products. Uh, men's clothing, women's clothing, kids' clothing, accessories, what's in there? So you can even do bags. So I, I haven't looked into this for a long time, obviously. I've looked at it before, but um, can you do print-on-demand jewelry? Wow, you can do everything these days. So phone cases, that would be another thing that would be um, very popular that I've seen with pets on Facebook, print-on-demand um, pets on Facebook. So uh, hats, what's in the other? You got Christmas stockings, bag tag. Wow, you can do everything these days, eh? Christmas tree skirts. What's that? Hooded blanket. That'd be cool to do a custom design. Watch band. It is pretty cool. There, there definitely wasn't this many options back when I was looking at it. Custom underwear. That'd be a funny thing that you could, uh, you know, imagine having custom underwear with some funny things on it or someone's face. Like that sort of stuff would blow up on Facebook and go viral. So you've really got to think of it from the marketing perspective as well. Like, could this go viral? Would this be something that everyone's tagging their friends in, you know, and become like a, a hot thing to talk about on Facebook? So there's a lot of things like that with print on demand that get a lot of engagement because they're something that's you know way out there or something cool and cute like um people's pets things like that so definitely something to think about guys um yeah just pretty much touching on it in this one looking through all the different apps and getting an idea on what one i would want to use then i'll just keep doing a bit more research and see uh see what sort of products i really want to actually uh do on my own print on demand and when I start setting it up, I'll take you guys through it and show you what I'm doing. So stay tuned for that, guys. Let's get into some print on demand. And if you're doing any print on demand, make sure you tell me in the comments. I'm interested to see which provider you're using and which is the best one to go with. So awesome, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment below. Let's engage. And make sure you hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. See you guys soon.